Hey guys, it's Eric here at LearnMax, and I had some questions about metronome objects. Uh, basically, some people have been going through some of the Max tutorials that are available directly in Max. You get to those up here in your help screen. You pull down a Max tutorials, and you'll get a window, and it's on my other window over here. Uh, it's going to have all sorts of tutorials for you in there. Uh, some of them aren't exactly obvious, I think, sometimes. and Or some of them, you know, sometimes it'll just be kind of helpful to have somebody help you go through them. So here I am to help you go through them. And here's one case where I've added some things to the metronome and toggle tutorial number four. So the basic stuff is if you've seen metronomes, metronomes are one of the key things uh, in Max to let you do timing. Basically, it's a, it's a clock. It's a tick. You know, it's, it doesn't keep track of time, but it keeps track of a, a pace, right? Tick, 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 right? So, okay. Uh, here is also introducing the concept of a toggle, right? You click on a, a toggle box and it turns to one or zero. You can set it by sending it a message. These are messages. You pr uh, press M, you get messages. And any non-zero message is going to set your toggle box. Right? And this one's also going to print the results. So if I pop open my Max window here, where is it going? Uh, that M for Max, and bring more here. There he is. Uh, okay. 1, 257, 135. Okay. And you can also just bang that, and that's going to toggle it on off on off okay so there's the toggle now metronomes they're more uh, exciting and interesting so you toggle a metronome and it turns on and uh, a metronome is basically going to go on off on off on off at a certain pace in this case metro 1000 uh, this is in milliseconds so you get uh, a one second timer right one two three four five six seven something like that it's supposed to get 1000 uh, let's do that now we're getting it 1,000. Okay, you can, also, you can also stop a metronome. You can use uh, a bang just to turn it on. Uh, and if you send it a message in, in this inlet here, the rightmost inlet, that's going to become the, the pace. So I must have inadvertently clicked, say, 250 over here. Now when I start it, it's going to be a quarter of a second, right? I'm sending it that message. So two seconds, one second, half a second, quarter of a second. And I can turn it on and off. Okay. Now, the last uh, of the normal uh, tutorial parts here, the top three are the normal ones, and, and I've already kind of tweaked this one up, so let me change this a little bit back to something. Okay, as I said before, you can type in a number for the uh, metronome object here for the pace there, you know, the millisecond count. All right, so looking at this one, this talks about the uh, running things in parallel. Okay, so if I turn on a metronome, I can kind of turn on a bunch of things and I'll turn them on, all three of them, with this toggle box up here. So what's going on? Okay, I turn on a 200 millisecond metronome, a 400 millisecond metronome, and a 600 millisecond metronome all at the same time. So they're all uh, synchronized together, sort of. They're all kind of free running, but because they're all on the same computer, they're going to be synchronized. This one's going every 200, every 400. So every other one, this guy's going to go off. This guy's going to be twice the rate of that one. This guy's going to be three times, or one-third the rate of this guy. Okay, that's all fine and good, and they refer to this as this rolling light kind of thing. But uh, it makes it sound like you know it should be like one two three one two three. That's that's sort of what they make it sound as if you're supposed to expect now, and that's not really doing that for me because this one's flickering three times faster than that one. They're not just kind of rolling through things. So I I, I made some more examples that show you how to really get it to roll through a, a couple of things. This is sort of looks like what they're describing in the. Uh, uh, in the final part of the tutorial, what you're supposed to build, and which is just a bang that sets the uh, value of the metronomes to 200, 400, and 600, and then ticks off here. So if I click on that, it's going to look very similar to this one over here. All right, they're both doing the same thing, except I don't have a way to turn this one off because they didn't tell you to put toggles there anymore. But I thought what it really sounded to me like what it wants to do is go like one, two, three, one, two, three. So here's a way to do that. Okay, here's my uh, metronome over here. And what I'm doing is I bang, and the first thing I do is I delay 200. And so after this happens, it's going to hit that, and then this is going to go, remember it goes right to left, so it's going to trigger this and then do that. And this delay after 200 milliseconds is going to trigger this other delay and then do that. And then the final delay is going to do that. So all the metronomes are actually at the 600 millisecond rate, so they're all happening at the same rate, but they're delayed, so they're staggered, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. And to me, that looks like kind of what they were describing in the, in the tutorial, you know, one, two, three, one, two, three. So that's one way of doing it. And then I have another one where I'm doing three things with a single metronome over here. I, I think this one's kind of neat. What I'm doing here is I have the single metronome at a 200 millisecond rate, 
and then I use a counter which a counter will let you uh, basically it keeps track of bangs coming into this inlet here. So every 200 milliseconds it increments a count. So it's going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, just keeps counting up. And then I have this calculation box. It's being fed the number. Say I uh, were to uh, put in a number box here. Let's look at what's coming out of that inlet, or out of that outlet, excuse me. It's just a number, just counting up. That's the nice thing, because a metronome normally, if I try to put this in there, and get rid of this one. Uh, a metronome doesn't output a clock. It just puts out a beat, so you really don't know what time it is. A counter is actually putting out a count, so you know what time it is. Okay, and then I mod that by 3, which is sort of dividing by 3 and give me the remainder. So it actually goes 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2. And I have a selector here. So if at 0 and 1, it sends a bang out the first and then the second, and then all others on the third. So it's going to rotate between the three. 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2. And uh, I initialize it to this value here. I initialize it to 2 just so it'll be synchronized with the other one there. It didn't really have to do that, but it just synchronizes it so that it comes out uh, 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2, as opposed to the natural state, which I think is uh, uh, 2, 0, 1, something like that. OK, anyway, so that's a real description of some of the metronome uh, capability. You can do a lot more with it as well. Synchronize it to your MIDI B clock, all that kind of great stuff. Uh, and a little introduction to delay, a little introduction to toggles and messages. And hopefully it straightens out some of the stuff about the uh, tutorial as well. So uh, step by step, we're going to go through a couple of the tutorials and see if we can't shed some light on a little bit of the uh, stuff that might not be obvious in there. OK, until next time, this is Eric at LearnMax.